Hi, this is David Noller, the technologist, talking to you today about Google Classroom from the student perspective. Here we go. You know probably by now that when you join a class, you click the plus sign, you enter the class code given to you by your teacher, and that's how you join. Once you're in, a couple things to note. The stream is now simply announcements. It might be that your teacher posted an assignment, or it might be an actual announcement like you have a test on Friday, that kind of thing. The classwork tab is where all of your classwork lives now, and it's organized into these topics like the introduction, a section on leadership, the Da Vinci 7 that we just started today. When I open a question that's a question module, you'll see the question mark here, I'll enter my answer directly in Google Classroom. I'll click on View Question, enter my answer here where it says Your Answer. That's where I'll type my answer. Sometimes students will come down here and see this blue person and add private comment, and they'll add their answer there. That's not really where that goes. When you submit your answer, this is where it goes. When you're done, you'll click on Turn In, and that will submit your work to your teacher. Okay, I've submitted my answer. Another kind of assignment you can do has this piece of paper with three lines on it. So you'll click on the assignment name, View Assignment, and there's the document that's been handed out to you. It's got your name already on it, You'll open that, and from the student perspective, here is the assignment page. You'll see that I can enter information to this table. Uh, part of the assignment is to answer these three questions. And when I am done entering my information, I come up here, and there is a Turn In button. The Share button is blue. You're not going to use that. You're going to turn this in to your teacher. When you're finished, click on Turn In, and from the teacher's perspective will see that you've turned in your work. You'll confirm by clicking on turn in again and it records the time that your work was turned in. If you want to keep working on it you can always come back to this assignment and click on unsubmit. Your teacher will be notified that your work has been unsubmitted and if it is then submitted again or turned in again uh, it will note on the teacher's end that that work was submitted late if it were turned in after the due date and the due time. Okay? Another example. Let's say I'd been working on this assignment and I realized I forgot to do something. So I am going to unsubmit this. When I turn a document like that in, it gets locked for editing and it becomes part of my teacher's portfolio. I can no longer edit it. So I unsubmit it so that I can then continue working on it. But let's say I wanted to start all over. I realized I really didn't do that well at all. I'm going to create a document from scratch. I'm going to delete that. I already did my redo. And so now I want to add that to this assignment. This is one where the teacher did not hand out something for me to fill in. I just had to write something on my own. So I'm going to click on Add, Google Drive, and select from my recent file. Here's the one that I redid. It connects it to that assignment and then once again turn in. Are you sure you want to do it? Yep, I'm going to turn it in. And there we go. So you have a couple different options when you are doing your work in Google Classroom. You might answer a question directly in Google Classroom. You might fill out a document that's been handed out to you by your teacher that you get to edit, or you might attach a document that you created on your own. A couple other things to know. If you click on People, you should be able to email your teacher directly from that People tab. You could also email your classmates. There are their school email accounts. Those aren't personal email accounts, those are school email accounts. To select another class, click the three-dot menu, select the other class you want to navigate to to continue working, and there you go. That is all you need to know to participate as a student in Google Classroom. If you have any other questions, let your teacher know, and if your teacher can't answer that, they'll get a hold of me, I promise. This is David Noller, the technologist. Remember that writing online is still writing. Write well.